This presentation will take a close look at maintenance of accreditation and it will focus specifically on the NESA guidelines. In 2016, all teachers were provided with the following information. That teachers employed in New South Wales prior to 2004 would need to be accredited to be able to continue to teach beyond 2017. All teachers would need to satisfy the working with children check. And at some stage in 2017, an online teacher accreditation account will be created and teachers will need to activate it by logging in. This will most likely occur towards the end of 2017. And in 2018, all teachers will be required to pay a $100 accreditation fee. It's important to note that all teachers will, will be able to log their professional development, which is a requirement of the maintenance process, from the 1st of January 2018. How do teachers maintain their accreditation? So there's a number of things that teachers need to do to satisfy their accreditation. So all teachers will need to demonstrate competent teaching practice in line with the standards at Profession. So it's important that all teachers familiarise themselves with the standards uh, as this sets out a framework for quality teaching. The maintenance cycle is a five-year maintenance period for full-time teachers and a seven-year period for part-time casual teachers. All teachers will be required to satisfy 100 hours of professional development over five years for full-time teachers and seven years for part-time casual teachers. This includes 50 hours of NESA registered professional development and 50 hours of teacher identified professional development. All teachers will be required to log or evaluate their professional development at the NESA portal throughout the five-year cycle. All teachers will be required to pay a $100 annual fee and this must be paid as a condition of employment. And at the end of the five-year period, three months prior to the due date, all teachers are required to write a report demonstrating their capacity to meet the standards. So what makes up 100 hours of professional development? The professional development is a major component of the maintenance cycle and all teachers as mentioned need to complete 100 hours of professional development in five years for full-time teachers or seven years for casual or part-time teachers. So 100 hours of professional development includes 50 hours of NESA registered professional development and 50 hours of teacher identified professional development. It's important to note that over the five year maintenance cycle for full time teachers, or seven years for part time or casual teachers, that a teacher's professional development must satisfy all standard descriptors in standard six and at least one descriptor from standards one, two, three, four, five, and seven. It's very important that you familiarize yourself with the standards and the individual descriptors that fall underneath the standards. For more information, you should access the Australian Professional Standards for Teachers, which can be found at the NESA website. 50 hours of NESA registered professional development includes those official external courses that are registered by NESA. And you'll know that they're registered by NESA because they'll have the NESA symbol listed on them. They could also be school-based courses that have been formally registered with NESA and you'll be notified about those courses if the school has officially registered them. 50 hours of teacher-identified professional learning could be formal and informal training, courses, workshops, seminars and activities. These are courses that you could undertake outside of school or within school but they're not formally registered with NESA. So it could be reflecting on your own teaching practice and keeping record of that, planning for the delivery of professional learning if that's part of your role, observing a colleague's teaching and then reflecting and providing feedback, or it could be attending an education related talk or seminar or workshop. So these courses are, are not formally registered by NESA but you're still able to utilize those hours and add them towards your teacher-identified professional learning. 
A very important component of the maintenance of accreditation process is logging and evaluating professional development at the Nestle portal. And it's very important that teachers do it regularly and not leave it for too long. For formal courses that are registered by NESA, there's usually a 30-day uh, window for you to go online and log uh, and evaluate your professional learning. So you need to do it fairly quickly. It's important you stay on top of it. So once your account is activated, you'll be able to log in at the NESA website as shown on the screen. And it's as simple as putting your username in and password and hitting login. Once you get inside, it will look something like this. Uh, you'll need to hit the teacher tab and then look for the professional development icon. And then once you hit that, you'll notice that there are some icons that allow you to view, add, edit, or evaluate professional development. And there's also an icon that allows you to find registered professional development if that's what you need. So it's really, really simple, quite user-friendly, but it's very important that teachers stay on top of it. So the maintenance report is something that needs to be done before the end of the five-year cycle for full-time teachers or seven-year cycle for casual part-time teachers. Normally, it needs to be completed three months prior to the due date. NESA defines the maintenance report as a report that demonstrates how teaching practice has continued to reflect the standards over the period of the maintenance cycle. It should be a brief overview, it should be specific to your teaching practice, and there is a character limit of 3,000 characters maximum per standard and a minimum of 50 characters. So it doesn't need to be too long. Once again, when you log in and you click on the Teacher tab, you click on the Maintenance of Accreditation Report icon, and that will bring you to an online form where you're able to enter under each standard uh, how you've managed to meet that particular standard over the five year cycle. And it's just a matter of writing in for each standard how you've managed to do that. So it's important to include some specific examples of your practice in there and not go too overboard because you'll, you will definitely go over that character limit. So how will the maintenance of accreditation requirements link to what we already do? And how can teachers use the process to add value to student learning in the classroom? So currently we already have a professional learning plan which encourages teachers to set a big picture goal that links to student learning. And teachers are planning their professional learning in line with the Australian professional standards for teachers. So their professional learning is linked back to their goal which has been set to address student needs. So you can see how our professional learning can really add value to what happens in the classroom. So this 100 hours of professional learning that we are required to do, we really have to make it count and we have to make it link back to student learning so that we can add value in the classroom. So how do teachers maintain their accreditation? As a summary, you demonstrate competence in line with the standards at Proficient. You satisfy the requirements over the five year maintenance period for full-time teachers and seven years for part-time or casual teachers. As part of this, you complete your 100 hours of professional development over the five years or seven years, 50 hours of NESA registered professional development and 50 hours of teacher identified professional development. You log and or evaluate your professional development at the NESA portal you pay your $100 annual fee and you write the report at the end of the maintenance period demonstrating your capacity to meet the standards. For more information, please access the NESA website. Thank you very much for listening.